All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Peter Van Sant. I work for Citadel Securities on the HPC, on the HPC team. And uh, here's a doodle on proof carrying types for fun. Um, so from a application perspective, you want to ensure that your code is reachable only if your preconditions are satisfied. From a global program perspective, you want to propagate checked preconditions through your program by capturing them into your type. And you want to check your preconditions exactly once and skip checks which can be inferred from existing information. We can infer positive from non-neg or we can infer non-negative from positive. Um, so I picked other people's names, so you can blame this paper for and as a choice of name. And I inspired my names based on some of the various contract papers. So what we would like to have uh, for this doodle is a type signature, which encodes that our size satisfies uh, a collection of predicates, like divisible by 8 and positive, optimized by that, or maybe not optimized by that. Here we can call our um, contracted limiter with one that specifies a violation uh, policy. So you can choose abort, raise, whatever your preference at the caller. But today we'll only talk about the proof part of it. So an and is a conjunction of predicates. So and is constructed only if the predicates are satisfied. Um, the axioms are given at construction. That's how you get inference and check only once. You check only predicates, which can be inferred from axioms. And you ensure that all other predicates um, are valid by checking them using the, uh, and then on failure, you use the violation handler. So here we can see the inference and propagation happening, where we specify that what we want is that something is divisible by 8. What we have is that it's divisible by 32. So we know that given our predicates, what it requires, given our axioms, is that it's true. Um, so uh, uh, in terms of and, its interface is the required given, as we've seen, and a constructor that checks its predicates, uh, given some violation handler. Um, imply, uh, we will see later, but required given here maps anything which isn't implied by, uh, uh, which does not, you know, where the axioms does not imply the predicates to true, and otherwise it uh, retains the predicate. Uh, here we check our predicates using um, a basic uh, expansion. Uh, and then on failure of the predicate, we invoke the failure handler. Uh, so we can use this in construction of our proof. So we can uh, establish a proof on our size that it's divisible by 8. Um, in the case that this fails, we abort. So we know that we can call limiter raw with our size uh, because it's reachable only if the precondition is satisfied. Uh, here we show infer. Um, so infer uh, is a type designed for specialization so that users can specify uh, other kinds of inference. T obviously implies T. Uh, so from imply, we can uh, return true type or false type based on whether or not we can infer uh, the desired insured predicate given the input predicates. Um, so here we're uh, demonstrating how we could use uh, inference. So we are establishing a proof given our, uh, given our input of our proof of divisible by 32 to establish a proof of divisible by 8. Uh, and we demonstrate that it can propagate across two different functions uh, by calling one from the other. And each predicate is checked exactly once. Um, so from an application code, what we want to do is define predicates, extend inference, and choose violation handlers. Uh, so we demonstrate here how to define a predicate. You write a check. Um, we demonstrate how to add additional uh, inference. You write a specialization. Um, so you can see other talks, for examples, of integrating uh, contract checking with values. Um, Phil Nash has an example in his um, Zen of uh, Zen of software lifecycle ma uh, maintenance. Um, and what we can establish here is that the compiler doesn't have to propagate facts when we can do so through the type system, so you can have confidence in that. And you can skip checks which can be inferred from no known facts, like the post condition of sort is that it's sorted. So you don't need to check is sorted if you've sorted it. And that's all I had.